Hey everyone. So my name is Tushar Goel and I welcome you all on the behalf of Regex Software. So today's agenda is to install an Ubuntu inside a virtual box. So the two step is first you need to have a virtual box. Secondly, you need to have an ISO image. So we will look after from step by step like how to install add one to inside the virtual box first you need to have both the softwares and the iso image so you can simply go and type on the browser bit dollar dy slash regex material so if when you just type this link on the browser you will get a window open like this one okay so here you will find a folder called iso images where you have different images available so like now we are working on only on ubuntu you can simply right click on it you can go and download and you can click send a download secondly for installing virtual box you can go on the folder virtual box you can again right click on it and again go on send a download or either what you can do is either go on the site the virtual box okay you can click on the download link you can simply go and install the latest package but uh, it always says like uh, to install the older versions which are stable okay so i will recommend you to go only with the 5.2 builds okay so click on the windows host and it will download that file or to install iso image of ubuntu you can go on ubuntu you can click on downloads again you can go here downloads and you can simply see here it is ubuntu desktop and 18.04 is the latest version okay so click on download and it will just download that file okay no issues now if we will see our downloads we will see the both the images like uh, virtual box 5.2.36 and ubuntu 16 like i am having a ubuntu 16 iso so i am working on it and if you have the ubuntu 18 it's the same thing you can uh, double click on this it will uh, open a prompt you need to just go on next don't worry about this if you want to change the location like where the virtual box will be installed you can simply go on browse and just uh, select the location whatever you want click on next next yes install and that particular virtual box will be installed by itself then click on finish see the virtual box is been opened to install an ubuntu by ubuntu operating system from scratch just click on new type the name let's say if you want to type your name you can type uh, your name also like here i am typing ubuntu okay uh, just select the type is linux and its version is ubuntu 64 bit okay if uh, here you are only finding out the version like 32 bit so for that purpose you need to enable the virtualization that's a particular option which is available we will look after it like how to enable it click on next select the uh, ram like how much how many ram you want to give for that particular operating system so like i am having a total of 8192 so from that it's taking default at 1024 you, uh, you need to just select next okay it will ask you to create a virtual hard disk now right now we do not have any hard disk so for that uh, you need to just click on this particular option create a virtual hard disk okay let it be a default one click on create okay it will ask you like what should be the type don't worry about it click on next okay the thing here is dynamic uh, dynamically allocated and fixed size okay so as per your uh, hard disk will be fulfilled like if you have given let's like, say 2 gb or 3 gb of uh, hard disk and it is fulfilled okay uh, then it will dynamically allocate more space to your operating system and if you go on the fixed size okay 
you cannot increase the hard disk size okay so either you can give, uh, go on fix size and you can select like how many uh, size you want to give for that operating system like the hard disk so from like from 2 TB I'm giving it as 10 GB click on create so after completion of that step you will get an uh, Ubuntu here after completion of the previous step just right click on it go on setting then go on the storage click here and from here just select the virtual ISO image which you have already downloaded click ok fine afterwards just double click on it and it will again start the machine itself like you can see it like the ubuntu is getting started with the iso image you have provided so if i just maximize it you can see like it's been loading so it will take hardly your 20 minutes approximate 20 minutes to install the operating system see uh, your cursor will also will not be go inside that particular image for that purpose what you can do is you can click right control plus L see here it will ask you like if you want to try the Ubuntu if you want uh, to try it just go on it but uh, like we are working to how to install it so click on install Ubuntu then just continue uh, you can just go with that particular part like erase this and uh, install Ubuntu See, it will automatically uh, create an ext and a swap swap is just like uh, a cache memory in linux okay, you do not have to worry about it just wait for some time because it will take some hardly some minutes okay you can select the location like we are working in india so you can just select india continue okay select the language like english us english us okay okay you can give any name let's say we are giving regex okay again you can give any name here again i am just putting regex name all at place if you want to set the password like every time when you will log in you want a password uh, to be put you can just simply uh, click on require my password to log in otherwise you can click login to or in automatically okay so right now we are just working with the password so you can give the password let's say i am just giving it regex okay again in the below i am giving the password as regex then if uh, the password will be wrong then it will give an error uh, message like password doesn't match okay so click on continue and you have to wait for like approximate 5 to 10 minutes it de all depends on your machine like how much time it will take so after the completion of previous step a new prompt will be initiated in front of you like it will ask you to restart the operating system so just click on the restart now so your machine will uh, start again so let's for, uh, wait for the particular machine because we have provided a very low amount of RAM so here you can see like you are able to see the username which you have already given so for that purpose type the password whatever you have set it 
so like i have given the password regex so if i just click regex and enter so i will be inside that particular window see now your operating system is already installed and now it's open you can simply right click on it then open the terminal here you can type any command let's say date command so it will give you the date and the time okay so that's all about like how to work and how to install an ubuntu inside a virtual box so i hope you like it so please do not forget about subscribing to our youtube channel which is regex software and you can also connect with us with on different platforms like linkedin facebook and all okay thank you